I would like to share some serious end time headlines with you. But before I do so, let's look at a passage here, a very familiar passage from the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And the Bible says, And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. The Bible tells us there will be a time of trouble that the world has never experienced before. But if you look at carefully what the passage also says there, let's read it one more time. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. The Bible says even to that same time. That means there will be many troubles, troublous times that we will have to experience in our world, but which will lead to the ultimate time of trouble that the prophet Daniel spoke of here. And also, when I think of the time of trouble, here is another passage that comes to my mind. Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 and 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. That is a time of trouble there. And this passage also goes along with Revelation chapter 14, the third angel's message, the warning from receiving the mark of the beast and worship the image of the beast. And those who heed that warning, and as they are described in verse 12 of the same chapter, here is the patience of the saint. Here are they that keeps the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ and the same individuals were mentioned in chapter 12 verse 17 that the dragon will go to make war against them because they keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. These individuals will have to cling to Jesus Christ as they will go through this time of troubles. Their only hope will only be found in Jesus Christ. And as Spirit of Prophecy tells us that they will go through such a time of trouble that it would seem like that they have been forsaken by God. It would seem like that they have to give up their faith. Their countenance will not look like people who were precious in the sight of God were favored, that's the word she used, favored in the sight of God. They would, they would look like they have been worn out. They haven't eaten, keyword eaten, in a long time. A time of trouble is right upon us. Notice carefully on the screen. From Job chapter 23, verses 10 through 12. But he knoweth, God knoweth, the way that I take. When he hath tried me, what's the word there? tried or test when he had tried me i shall come forth as gold so god will allow his people to go through a time of trouble so that they could come out as gold purify as pure gold notice my foot have held his steps his way have i kept and not declined neither have i gone back from the commandment of his lips i have noticed esteem the words of his mouth, how? More than my necessary food. That's the food we're going to need in these last days. And that's the food we need right now. It is the word of God. That's what's going to sustain us. Because as we just read in chapter 13, verses 16 and 17 of the Revelation, a time will come when we will not be able to buy and sell because... We refuse to receive the mark of the beast. Now, beside growing our own, own food, we were counseled to do in the country, but even that, the country living places, will be taken away from us. 
We will need only to rely on the thus saith the Lord, on the word of God. Notice carefully, back to the screen, Psalm chapter 63, verse 5. My soul shall be satisfied, notice, as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. With the word of God, this will be our food. Then, we were told, only bread and water. God will provide for his people. But yet, the psalmist says, My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. That's the attitude of the saints, the true saints, in these, in these last days, brothers and sisters. Just like Christ says, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And as we read this passage here from Testimonies, volume 9, page 11, the agencies of evil are combining their forces and consolidating. They are doing what? Strengthening for the last great crisis. Great changes are soon to take place in our world. The final movements will be rapid ones. The condition, notice, of things in the world shows that what kind of time that's coming. Troublous times are right upon us. Troublous time indeed are right upon, upon us. This is why we need to, as spiritual prophecy tells us, to fortify our mind with prayer and to also fortify our mind with the word of God. Notice carefully with me again what Spirit of Prophecy tells us here. The enemy has great power, notice, over minds that are not thoroughly, what's the word again, fortified by prayer and what else? Establish in Bible truth. A time of trouble is right upon us. According to Spirit of Prophecy here, we need to fortify the mind by what? By prayer and what else? And establish in Bible truth. And that's what's going to help us to stand in the last days. Troublous times, again, as Spirit of Prophecy tells us, troublous times are right upon us. The condition of things in the world shows that troublous times are right upon us. And the issue of buying and selling, we need to keep that in mind. The agencies of evil are consolidating, are coming together to un they are unifying to come up with plans against God's remnant people. Notice carefully with me what this says here. U.S. lawmakers ask Federal Reserve about what? What are the words? National digital currency. Fed has the mandate to develop a national digital currency. Which nation is this again? It is the second beast of Revelation chapter 13, the same power that we were told would enforce the mark of the beast, the no buying and selling. Notice, next article, it tells us here from Market Insider, November 20th, 2019, the Federal Reserve is looking into developing a digital currency. In the U.S., Powell confirms U.S. central bankers have explored the possibility of developing a digital currency that would be directly available to businesses and what else? Households. We have assessed and we continue to carefully analyze the costs and benefits of pursuing such an initiative in the U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell wrote in a letter to lawmakers this week in September, Reps French Hill and Bill Foster said the central bank should consider a U.S.-backed cryptocurrency to remain competitive. What is going on here? What exactly they are not telling you? The power behind the resurrection of the first beast, which is the papacy, is making sure that the no buying and selling will become a reality through the technology because if they get rid of the cash and have everything electronically then they can monitor your behavior they can monitor your buying and your selling and they have been testing 
they means the United States of America, they have been testing these things in other countries. Whereas they make it seem like, hey, we are still thinking about things like that. But really, for example, in India, India is almost a cashless society. And who is been helping India to become a cashless society? It is the United States of America, even in China and other countries where they have uh, these mass surveillance programs. Who has been helping these nations to do these things? The United States of America. But yet you hear often double talk. They will come and say, hey, China has surveillance mass and uh, security system and putting their people in concentration camps. Who's really behind them? The United States of America. Notice carefully with me. This says here, cashless payments are growing faster in India than just about where? About anywhere else. Who's behind this? It is the United States of America. Notice another one here from the Telegraph, November 14, 2019. RBS to open first cashless bank with no ATM or cashier service. Notice the Royal Bank of Scotland will open what is believed to be Britain's first cashless bank branch next month. And as the move towards online banking continues at pace, the digital bank will remove the frontline cashier services in the store and will not have an ATM fitted, meaning customers will not be able to pay and take what? Take cash out. Could you imagine? that you're not able to talk to a live person at a bank branch to take money out. You have to rely on machines, on the technology. And the scary part here, that you will not be able to take cash out. Everything will, can be frozen just by uh, blanking, really, just by blanking. Everything, you will not have access to anything. When you see these things begin to come to pass, what did Jesus say? Lift up your head towards heaven because your redemption draweth nigh. The Bible tells us, lay not for yourselves treasures upon this earth where it can get stolen and corrupted. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Again, who is behind these type of technologies? The U.S. Notice carefully with me. This says here from Deseret News, November 30th, 2019. Guess opinion. Facial recognition needs what? Some handcuffs. Your photo is being scanned by law enforcement over and over again every single day. Without your knowledge and consent, without your ability to opt out, government officials are scanning your face using software in hopes of matching you against a suspect. Notice it goes on to say, consider this, technology currently exists allowing the government to determine what someone looks like based on nothing more than their DNA. That means the police can swab a restaurant, for example, collect the DNA from hundreds of people a day and generate eerily accurate faces of who was present. Now, pair that technology with facial recognition and live scanning, empowering the government to do what? To determine where those people are as they travel to and from their home, place of worship or what else? The grocery store. Do you get it? They'll monitor everything. Just like we read in chapter 13, verses 16 and 17 of the Revelation. They will know everything about you. They, they can sh close your bank account from preventing you to buying and selling. Notice, article goes on to say, it's an, what is it? Aurelian exercise to ponder, yet it's entirely within the realm of possibility. The degree to which law enforcement is empowered by new technology can be both a curse and a blessing, but it's more the former. What's the former? The former is the curse. If these tools are impaired 
with restrictions that protect privacy and ensure they are used responsibly and with limits. These things were created and invented for such a time as this. Troublous times I write upon us. And again, who is the manufacturer be behind these things? It is the United States of America, the second beast. And as we covered last time, with China's facial recognition detention camps, who was behind it? The United States of America. Notice this article here. Secret documents reveal how China mass, what is it? Mass detention camps work. November 25th, 2019, from Associated Press. The papers also show how Beijing is pioneering a new form of social control using data and artificial intelligence, drawing on data collected by mass surveillance technology. Computers issue the names of tens of thousands of people for interrogation or what else? Detention in just one week. There's no other place in the world where a computer can send you to an internment camp. This is absolutely what? Unprecedented. The issue of buying and selling will be a serious one. There will be also a famine in the land for the word of God. What was the counsel given by inspiration? We need to fortify the mind with prayer and what else? We need to establish in Bible truth, in present truth, because that's what we're going to, to need in the last days, the word of God. Let me play for you a clip here from China, the detention camps and all of these things. Keep in mind as you watch this, this is just a miniature picture of what's coming to the United States of America or what is already here in the United States of America, but they are using it in other countries before they bring it here, but also it will spread worldwide. As we were told, it is the United States of America who is going to lead the world in enforcing the mark of the beast. Watch this. China has been using advanced technology to keep an eye on the Uyghurs in the Xinjiang Autonomous Territory. Visitors report surveillance cameras and facial recognition equipment throughout public areas. There are mandatory GPS trackers installed on vehicles and apps that monitor data flows on Uyghurs' smartphones. They are even collecting DNA samples from all residents between 12 and 65 years old. It's just stunning, isn't it? The question once again, who is helping China to build this mass surveillance again? It is none other than Big Brother. Notice carefully what this says here from the Wall Street Journal. U.S. tech companies prop up China's vast surveillance network. Intel, Hewlett, Packard, Enterprise and others aided and profited from China's multi-billion dollar surveillance industry used in its Muslim crackdown. Another one here says how the U.S. helps China conduct Big Brother activities on Uyghurs uh, citizens. November 29, 2019. Then from the Hill, November 27, 2019, U.S. tech companies behind much of China's massive surveillance industry report. Is there a time of trouble like there never was coming upon God's people? Oh, that is even here. Yes, brothers and sisters, who is uh, the ultimate power behind this? It is Satan to bring fear upon God's people, to cause many to forsake Jesus Christ. Notice what Spirit of Prophecy tells us here from Prophets and Kings 184, paragraph 2. Thus the world, Satan says, will become mine. I will be the ruler of the earth, the prince of the world. I will so control the minds under my power, notice carefully, that God's Sabbath shall be a special object of content. A sign? He questioned that. I will make the observance of the seventh day a sign of what? Disloyalty to the authorities of earth. Question now, how is the enemy of soul going to do this? Notice, back to the screen. Human laws will be made so stringent 
that men and women will not dare to observe the seventh day Sabbath. For what reason? For fear of wanting food and what else? And clothing, they will join with the world in transgressing God's law. The earth will be holy under my dominion, the enemy of soul says. So what is he going to use? Basic needs, clothes, food. Revelation chapter 13, verses 17, 16 and 17. The no buying and selling issue, which we were told, will be a serious one. But notice carefully with me. What was the council? I'm going back to the council there one more time. We need to fortify the mind with what? Prayer and what else? Establish in the truth, in Bible truth, in present truth. As Peter tells us, we need to establish ourselves in the truth so that like Christ in the wilderness, as he was being tempted, we can say, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So the last day movement will be rapid ones. And keep in mind, these things are happening. 2020 is a big year for us as students of Bible prophecy. These things are happening leading us to May 14. Next year, 2020, what is happening there? That's when the Pope invites the whole world to implement Laudato Si. Keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. Again, who is behind these facial recognitions, these type of technologies? This is the United States of America. Remember how we covered before and how many of you have already know what YouTube has done, is doing right now, yielding to the power that be and the papacy to restrict the message, the third angel's message, from going throughout the whole world by introducing what they call kappa restrictions. And now, there is another issue again. They are now trying to also bring about restriction on who can and cannot use the internet. Notice carefully with me. This says here, web inventor Tim Berners-Lee launches plan to do what? to stop internet abuse. November 25th, 2019. Next article puts it this way. World Wide Web Creator unveils contract to, what's the word, fix the internet. British inventor Sir Tim Berners-Lee has revealed a comprehensive contract for the web. A what? Contract for the web. What does that mean? Meaning that the web will not be free anymore because they want to control who can and cannot use it. You get it? Notice, with the backing of some of the world's largest tech giants. Who are some of the world's largest tech giants? Where are they? It is none other than Google, Facebook, Instagram, and all of these other ones. And where are they? Within the United States of America. Notice, next article here. It says, from South China Morning Post, November 25, 2019, World Wide Web inventor Tim Berners-Lee launches contract to end online abuse. Let's pause. They call it online abuse or hate speech. That's not what it's about. Remember, who is the target? God's people. That's what this is about. Notice, World Wide Web inventor Tim Berners, Lee on Monday, unveiled a contract for the web to halt misuse by governments, companies, and what's the word? Individuals. If we don't act now, he says, and act together to prevent the web being misused by those who want to exploit, what's the word there? Divide and undermine, we are at risk of squandering its potential for good. The word divide there, you can tell if you understand the issues in the last days. You can tell that the word divide came straight from the papacy. That's ecumenical movement. Those who stand in the way and are proclaiming the third angel's message, the fourth angel's message, calling up people out of Babylon. They are the ones creating the vision. And so now we have to censor the internet. It can no longer be free.
We have to monitor their behavior. That's Revelation chapter 13. They have to monitor all your activities, all your behavior. Notice carefully. His unveiling of the final document on Monday comes as government, business, and civil society leaders gather in Berlin for the four-day UN Internet Governance Forum. He called on governments to do what? To strengthen laws and regulations. More than 150 organizations, including companies such as Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Reddit, have done what? Back the plan. Troublous times are right upon us, brothers and sisters. We have but a short time to do the work that God has entrusted unto us today. We must work while it is day. Because the night cometh when, as Christ says in John chapter 9, when no man can work. And it is the enemy's plan, again, one more time, to bring about fear upon the remnant of the seed of the woman because of basic necessity. Notice what the enemy of soul once again says. Says Satan, our principal concern is to silence this sect of Sabbath keepers. We must excite popular indignation against them. We will enlist great men and worldly wise men upon our side and induce those in authority to carry out our purposes. Did we just read about the great men that he has on his, on his side? Those great companies, Google, Microsoft, Reddit, and all of the other ones? Yes, notice. Then the Sabbath, which I have set up, shall be enforced by laws, the most severe and exacting. Which Sabbath is that? That would be the Sabbath of the papacy, Sunday sacredness. Notice. Those who disregard them shall be driven out from the cities and villages and made to suffer, what's the word? Hunger. And what else? Privation. When once we have the power, we will show what we can do with those who will not swerve from their allegiance to God. Isn't that a dare to be like Daniel one more time? Isn't that a dare to be like the three Hebrew boys? Is that coming upon us, brothers and sisters? Yes, notice, it goes on to say, We led the Romish church to inflict imprisonment, torture, and death upon those who refused to yield to her decrees. And now that we are bringing the what? The Protestant churches and the world into harmony with this right arm of our strength. We will finally have a law, what's that law? Sunday, to exterminate all who will not submit to our authority. When death shall be made the penalty of violating our Sabbath, then many who are now ranked with commandment-keeping keepers will come over to our side. Why will many do this? Because of wanting food and clothing. And once again, we were told the majority of Seventh-day Adventists will yield to that power and forsake Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, question again. Are troublous times right upon us? Are troublous times upon us? Yes, brothers and sisters. But what do we need the most? Remember what Jesus says to the disciples. Let's go to the book of John. John chapter 4. Go to the book of John with me. What do we need the most? Do we need uh, the physical food the most? Or do we need uh, the manna for this time? John chapter 4, looking at uh, verse 32. Let's begin in verse 31. John chapter 4, verse 31. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, what's the word? Eat. But he said, Christ said unto them, I have what? Meat to eat that ye know not of. What is that meat? that Christ was referring to. What is that food? That's the word meat there. What is that food that he was referring to? Notice, therefore said the disciples one to another, have any man brought him out to eat? Jesus saith unto them, my meat, that is my food, is to do the will of him that sent me, and to do what? To finish 
his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. Just like he says, lift up your head towards heaven, for your redemption draweth nigh. We have what? We should have what? Meat to eat or food to eat. And what is that? To do the will of the Father, what it is they, brothers and sisters. That's the food that we need at this time. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. Let's close now with Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that, what's the word, overcometh, will I do what? Give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. If we want to eat the hidden manna, where will we be so satisfied? We must do what first? We must overcome the physical needs here on this earth. Our loving Father knoweth what we need best, brothers and sisters. Let us hang on to Jesus Christ. It will not be long because we can see the time of trouble is progressively getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But as God is allowing the four angels to hold the winds of strife, we must work while it is day. Bow your heads with me. Let's have a word of prayer. Loving Father which art in heaven, Thank you, Father, so much for giving us time and opportunity to perfect our character, to work out our own salvation while we can. That means to yield everything to you so that you can do in us, you can work in us both to will and to do of your good pleasure. Father, give us a zeal for your word and a love for others so that we can bring the knowledge of Jesus Christ to them before probation closes. Forgive us of all our sins, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.